and welcome back to Owen. Today's Owen comes to us for Forbidden Super, who asks the question, who win the fight? Tanjiro Kamado, uh, Kamado, yeah, Kamado from Demon Slayer, uh, versus Takashi Yamamoto from Hitman Reborn. Um, now, Hitman Reborn, I've done the main character once or twice, and I've had a lot of people say I've, I've underpowered that character based on what's in the manga. Keep in mind, I don't, these are actually, both of these actually are two um, series that I'm not very well familiar with. I never got into Demon Slayer, despite it's like really freaking popular. And I had only, I'd never heard of Hitman Reborn up until that point either. So, unlike with the What Ifs, where right now I'm currently reading Black Clover and Hunter x Hunter because I've had suggestions for What Ifs with those, I am not going to be getting into a manga or series manga or anime series, simply to, you know, do what, who would wins. Um, I, I'm just not going to do that, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, so Tanjiro Kamado is the main character of the, hit, of the uh, Demon Slayer series, whereas uh, Takashi is not the main character, but he is one of the main characters. Um, he's generally warm, friendly, you're only seen without a smile on his face. He First, he'd rather, he's rather naive to the point of believing that the Mafia is nothing more than a game and that his life isn't in any real danger as the series progresses, though. He comes to under, understand his, the position in the Vog, Vogola, which is the Mafioso. Um, his abilities and, uh, you know, weaponry. Uh, he's a skilled fighter, despite his easygoing personality. He's a very talented hitman. Uh, he's a skilled swordsman. He did want very skilled swordsman. He once wielded a bat that, when he swung it at 300 uh, kilometers per hour, turned into a katana. But he later upgraded that to a katana. He inherited it from his father uh, before the battle, uh, before his battle for the rain ring. It is a shina which that transforms into a katana. A shina, I believe, is a bamboo sword. Um, when he uses his family's specific style, he does carry the Wagner rain ring. But that being said. The Volga, excuse me, the Volgala Rain Ring are special rings worn by the Vol Guardians. Uh, I, they are sets. Uh, let's see here. These rings, along with, are powerful artifacts that have created the world. Um, give me one second. I just want to be sure. Do these rings have any special abilities, or are they just like symbolic? After the Wagner rings were damaged by the Guardian battles, up, upgraded them using the power of the animal rings and Wagner's Spear Blood penalty, Guardians have taken new forms to suit its wielder, being made exclusively for the 10th generation bosses and Guardians, and are now called Wagner Gear. Okay, so Vogler Gear. Okay, let's talk about the Vogler Gear instead. Uh, okay, abilities. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Uh, each of the Vogler Gear uh, takes on a different form as it caters to the specific fighting style of the wielder. Vogler Gear is made exclusively... Or the Volgala Decimi, uh, Decimi, oh God, Decimo, and his guardian, symbolized by the crest of the Volga. Okay, Ring of the Sky, Ring of the Storm, Ring of the Rain, version X. Okay, this is the one he wields, it's a, except it's a necklace. Uh, let's see here. Created specifically to suit Takashi Yamato, uh, following the destruction, blah, 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 and ch by channeling resolve through the stones, transforms the ores. Deval and Gagare. Okay, that's great. What does it do? Um, let's see. He Oh, his... Okay. His uh, Cambio form. He also has two creatures called uh, Zero and Kozero version X. Uh, basically, they were originally part of a different type of weaponry. They take the more and believe of a bird and a swallow, a bird and a dog that allow him to essentially wield like specific sword type uh, effects. His cambio form uh, manifests and merged with a necklace. He gains an additional katana sword, bracers on both arms, metal armored sandals. Yamato's clothing also changes to be a more traditional kendo outfit consisting of a kamishimo, uh, wait, kamishimo, yeah, kamishino and hakama. On both of his hips were sheaths for two swords. The necklace of rain continues to stay around his neck. On the end, the promo of each sword is figures of the animals. Finally, as with most of Valgir, the weapon gains rings of text. That's great. What does that mean? Anything? Basically, it seems to up all of his physical abilities. Um, that, that seems to be the main enhancement this seems to give him. We're not done yet, though. Uh, rain attribute Volgala box weapon. Uh, now this is basically, again, takes the form of Kozero, which, well, doesn't take the form of. Contains a bird and a dog, Zero. 
Uh, and then basically what allows them to do a basic performance. Because Zero's basic performance is the same as the normal something or other. It can combine with Yamato Shigeru Kinto, his fighting style, to a combino form to change his shape into the longsword version. Great. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems to be a lot to do with swords, and I know there is some, like, aura weaponry that goes along with this series as well. Uh, water, a box weapon used to defensive... He can create defensive water walls with sand flames to protect from incoming attacks. He also has a motorcycle. Means nothing in this fight. Uh, the necklace of rain version, that's what we got for the upgraded ring. He does have techniques, though, including Shiga, Shigeri Soen Ryu inherited the de this deadly sword style from his father, who taught him eight forms, four defensive, four offensive. Uh, he's developed three new forms since then, thanks to his training with Squallow. He has developed Aggregate Art, a move that combines all the Shigeri Soen's forms together. That would make it offensive and defensive all at once, simultaneously. Uh... Oh, God. Where, some of these names. She's, uh, see, if I had heard these, I probably would have been able to pronounce them a little better. Let's see. Ata Koko or Atako? Atako. Atako de Squalo. A shockwave attack which turns a powerful blow into an obstinate wave that stuns the opponent's muscles. He improved it by adding rain flames to his Shigure Shir Kintoki. Kintoki. Oh, God. And then Rain Flame Radar, the ability to see through invisible attacks by using his ring's flames as a radar to detect vibrations in the air. Learns what radar reads through the box weapon because you're a god almighty, some of these names. Um, so, I mean, he seems to be a very capable individual, Takashi. But I'm going to tell you right now, my mind is going to lean more towards Jinjiro. Now, the reason for that is he... This is very interesting. Despite being the main character of his series... He's not, by the end of the series, one of the strong... He's not the strongest Demon Slayer. He's still very exceptionally powerful. Um, but he is an expert swordsman. Uh, there are techniques he has down that he cannot use um, without the help aid of others. For instance, Bright Red Nichirin Blade. First unlocked his ability after Nuzuko Kamado lit his sword of fire using pyrokinesis, which gave him an edge over... During his second battle against he gains the ability to die and... His blade, bright red, colored by himself. Okay, so he did actually awaken it on his own. After nearly dying and later awaken it one final time with the help of Gyu to drive Muzin into a corner and amper his instantaneous regeneration. Um, okay, so he did unlock that. So he can create flames with his blades. Uh, he has a Demon Slayer mark, which basically is the curse mark from Naruto, enhancing all of his physical abilities. Um, he was fast enough to completely kill, uh, cut someone's head off while... Um, well, the character could not react. This is because he can actually hide his um, spirit battle sense, his battle spirit, if you will. He can hide his presence on the battlefield. Uh, and the opponent admittedly used that to sense where he was or where his opponent is. Transparent World. He gains his ability to foresee an opponent's attack by analyzing perceiving his opponent's blood flow, muscles, skeletal joint alignment, and organs. In this state, his movements and intuition invasion speed increase dramatically. He accesses this state by remembering his father's words and uses it in the midst of battle to defeat Akaza. Although he has learned how to use it, uh, he is not completely proficient in it, uh, but he's still very, you know, he's not completely proficient, but he can still use it. Enhanced accuracy, that's kind of goes without saying. Enhanced sense of smell, this seems to be a big thing with this character, that he's got a enhanced sense of smell. This gives him extrasensory, extrasensory perception. Superhuman senses, he can perceive things outside normal range of perception, like intentions, feelings, thoughts of other creatures, even of animals such as insects and birds. And then pseudo-precognition, that's pretty impressive. When training with Yori, Yorichi, not Yoroichi, but Yorichi, type 0, his sense of smell evolved further to be able to predict future movements, actions, and intentions. Combine that with um, Transparent World, and you pretty much have legit precognition. Uh, almost. A little true precognition. He doesn't actually see the future, but he can pr combine those two together, and it's pretty close to it. He's a genius level intellect, combat intuition. He's got an extremely hard skull described as being literally hard as a rock. And immense speed and reflexes, he is able to transfer travel faster than the eye can see, extremely uh, skilled sword master, and react in blinding moments of speed, and then stamina and endurance. Stamina and endurance was further ha um, improved by having total concentration uh, cons constant 
allowing him to exert himself practically uh, physically for 24/7, uh, which has increased even beyond that. He is so basically, yeah. Um, he has been shown he can uh, had to train in a mountain with little no, to no oxygen for many days, dodging many booby traps, climbing up and down, and improved his swordsmanship skills and seek all while during these harsh conditions. I mean, that's pretty impressive. His strength is enough that he can crack ribs simply by striking an opponent. With Quintana, he slices through gigantic boulders and even uh, entire tree, uh, entire trees, and later cut off Akaza's head, a feat which even someone couldn't accomplish with severe injury. When he was posing as a courtesan, uh, he was shown to carry dozens of large boxes easily. And he is, uh, when he is angered, he ripped an upper rank's leg, ripped up an upper rank's leg. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, indomitable will. That's you know, that's that's a given. Um, like, I don't need to explain that. <laughs> Repetitive action, a technique practiced by few members uh, in the cores, and allows a person to achieve the same effect as a total concentration in breathing by using repeated preset movements or remembering intense feelings to open the five senses and raise their concentration. Interesting. Selfless state. As, uh, as he unlocked the transparent world, he also learned the ability to completely erase his presence. That's basically how he's able to hide himself. He's a master swordsman. Uh, his swordsmanship water breathing technique taught to him by Sakoji the Water Hashira before Giru. This uh, basically it's a it was Tanjiro's initial breathing style before which uh, before he switches to Hinoko Hinokami Kagura, a breathing style taught to him by his father, which he states is more suited. However, during the course of where he's water breathing, he becomes extremely proficient, enabling him to take two members of the twelve Kizu Ryu. 12 Kizu, or Kizuki? Um, evidently, apparently, this allows him to summon water. And that's basically what it does. Um, the user generates enough momentum to create a powerful single concentrated splash uh, for the first form. Second form, the user leads vertically forward in the air while releasing a flow and attack in a circular motion. Alternate variation of the second form of water does a horizontal spin. Third form, uh, the user uh, swings his blade at their, and bends their blade in a winding motion along their body and dancing pattern, slicing everything in its path. The fourth is striking tide, making multiple consecutive slashes while twisting your body in a sword and flowing fashion to deliver multiple simultaneous blows. Uh, there's a turbulent form to that as well. Blessed rain after the drought. The user grips the sword and decapitates the opponent in a single flowing strike that causes little to no pain. Great. Uh, sixth form, whirlpool. Uh, the user fiercely twists their upper and lower body, creating a whirlpool that cuts anything caught in it. Uh, seventh horn, drop ripple thrust. God, that's an interesting name. Uh, the user performs a fast, accurate stab, capable of reducing the impact of a target. Eighth horn, water basin. The user cuts the target vertically in a flow motion with the most effective, which is most effective when they're falling downward. Ninth form, splashing water flow, turbulent. Uh, changes their footwork in a way that minimizes a landing time and surface. Uh, tenth, cons uh, constant flux. Um, the user performs a continuous flowing attack, which seemingly takes the form of a water dragon. And that's the one I'm actually familiar with. And then he you know, Kami Kagura is basically the fire version of what he was doing prior. Um, like the dragon, for instance, instead of fire dragon, instead of a water dragon. Uh, he's got right, basically, he's just got fire, some fire slashing attacks. Equipment is, is blades, abilities overall, demon overall. He can he is later transformed into a demon as his last attempt at a living on even being killed by a demon sword corpse. Um, he's now has he had nigh absolute regeneration, sunlight resistance. Uh, after his first transformation, initially affected by sunlight as a normal demon would be. However, he quickly developed a resistance to it. There's also demon blood art, biokinesis. Oh, great biokinesis. That's always a great word to hear. Uh, he simultaneously gained most of the demon blood arts. One ability he displayed is the ability to manipulate all properties of his body, similar to the Demon King. Good to know, Biogenesis. So, yeah, Tangiers comparatively is kind of hacked compared to this guy. Um, now, swordmanship-wise, they, they seem relatively comparable, although I'd say Tanjiro probably has the edge there as well. But it just seems like the amount of styles that Tanjiro has, his overall durability, speed, all that dur uh, endurance, and extrasensory abilities seem to just really trump anything that Takashi really has on his plate. Particularly his extrasensory abilities, leaning on true precognition. It seems that 
with the transparent world and his sense of smell, he can pretty much predict just about anything this guy's going to do. Even the minor level abilities that this guy has, this Tangier really seems to have pretty much everything he has and more. Um, so I really, this doesn't really come off to me as much of a fight. These two would probably do get out for a while, you know, sword stylized. Takashi would probably be able to hold him back, go into like his full powered form. This would push Tanjiro, Tanjiro a little bit, but ultimately it wouldn't push him enough in my opinion. And even if he did push him all the way to using his demon form, um, it pretty much would mean that he's pretty screwed at that point. Um, because he would have nigh absolute regeneration at that point, and there's nothing he'd be able to do, Takashi. But I don't even think he would really go that far. I think, honestly, as a swordsman, as a warrior, and just as a, someone with abilities, I think he surpasses Takashi. I really do. This is just my opinion, though, and this is just my opinion based off the information I have available for these guys. I don't have a lot for feats. So, especially on the Hitman Reborn side of things, maybe there are feats for Hitman Reborn, particularly for this character that would completely, you know, pound, uh, pound this guy into dirt, completely curb stomp this guy. But if you're going to ask me based on the what I can find, I'm going to give you my honest answer, and I'm going to say I think Tanjiro mm, Kamado is going to be the winner from Demon Slayer. That is, though, just my opinion. What do you think? If you know more than me, have that in the comments below. This is not one of those where I'll stand on the hill and say, I am right and I will not have my mind changed. No, this is where I stand on the hill and says, I am open to better suggestions. <laughs> my, my opinion means demi squat in this matter, madam and madam and sir. Why don't you please give me yours? This is one of those where, like, I am willing to hear people out. Absolutely. I really don't care that much about these series. But I do, Let's be clear. I don't care in the sense that I have not gone around to really, like, reading or watching any of these series. So, there you go. Maybe at some point I'll get around to that. But it's I've got other priorities, frankly. So, anyway, I digress. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please put your opinions in the comments below. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, though. And I'll see you folks tomorrow. I got a what if, and that's pretty much it tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, and I will be seeing Cry Macho later tonight. So keep your eyes up for that review. Till then, see you later.